The tech world often considered a young man's game, but one school trying to change all that, the Flatiron School in New York, has become a place where anyone of any age can learn how to code, a skill that its founder says is crucial for the impending AI revolution. There's this giant misperception that, you know, people who are coders are kind of born in the matrix and sit there alone. Yeah, on, those geeks. Yeah. Um, it's totally false. Uh, it is, uh, you know, we, we found um, that the single most important thing in being successful as a software engineer is creativity. It's a highly creative field. Um, uh, we at Flatiron School take people with no background in computer programming and turn them into software engineers through really accelerated programs that get them these really great paying jobs. And what we find is that the most successful students are people with creative backgrounds, people who come in with a passion for writing or photography or music because they like to create. And, you know, as our economy has changed and manufacturing has gone away, um, I think there's, you know, we've lost the ability to make things. Americans love to build and create and make things. And, and this is, I think, that new wave, the, the, the new form of manufacturing is kind of making software, building things. So making software, writing software, these are all really important skills that one needs as we see things like AI, robotics, coming into play in every industry. That's right. Um, Obviously, when people think of tech today, they think of Facebook and Google and Tesla and all the tech companies. And of course, there are tons of jobs over there. Uh, but the reality is that's only a small percent of the jobs uh, that exist in tech. Every industry, everything you do today is controlled by code. If you are buying concert tickets or flying an airplane or getting in a car, all of it is controlled by technology, right? Nothing is not controlled by code anymore. And um, whether you're interested in fashion or media or music, uh, there are coding jobs in all of those industries. Mm. And, and I'm reading this article here on Campus Technology that says, jobs report, 97% of Flatiron school graduates land jobs. Uh, is there demand right now in terms of the workforce for people who have that skill coding? So, yes, I mean, it's one of the fastest growing uh, job segments in the country. Uh, not, not only that, somehow uh, co uh, computer science graduates from traditional universities are not nearly keeping up with pace. So we're projecting a shortfall of a million software engineers over the course of the next few years. And these wow. are very high paying jobs. So you have all of these companies that are dying to recruit talent and universities aren't doing the job of creating enough people. And right. that's where we're stepping in. When people think of software engineering or, or co coding, they think it's a young man's, you know, young woman's job. And, and, and you here at Flatiron are actually seeing all ages try to figure this out and learn it, right? Yeah, um, actually, you were right the first time. Uh, unfortunately, too many people think it's a young man's job. Yeah. Um, you know, the technology industry is grappling with uh, trying to become better about diversity. We've, we're really proud to have achieved gender parity in our uh, online programs, and um, uh, we work really hard to do that. There were a lot of scholarships and partnerships. Um, but our students have ranged from 18 years old to over 50 um, uh, across geographies and across uh, genders and backgrounds. Uh, we've had, you know, Harvard PhDs to uh, community college dropouts, and all of them are successful. It's, it really is a skill that anybody can learn if they're motivated and put the time in.